Hello humans and welcome to another live stream. I am Jeremy Parrish and this is Gintendo stream number 37, Monster World plus Scape Grease because it's Gintendo, you know? Uh, let me make sure this is live and people can see what I'm doing. Yes, that's correct. It's not set to private, is it? No. Okay, very good. So we are going to play a game. Ah, hello, I see people showing up in the stream. That's fantastic. So, without further ado, let's watch this lovely cutscene. Look at these very nice graphics. Uh, the hell did you call me beep boop? Wow, I don't know what's going on here. Um, so the stream is already off to a rip-roaring start with some very strange comments. Thanks for joining. Um, let's play... Yeah, there we go. Monster World 4. Developed by Weststone. Published by Sega and fan-translated by a group whose name I forgot. This game did not originally come to the U.S. Uh, it was released in Japan for Mega Drive in 1994 and was only released in America for... Gosh, uh, 360 Wii PS3 in 2009, so it took 15 years for this to come over, officially. But I think it was worth it. The worth the wait. Look at it. What, look, what a lovely game this is. It's very nicely designed. This is really sort of the pinnacle of the Wonder Boy series, even though it's not called Wonder Boy. It's the Monster World offshoot, which originally was Monster Boy, but then they stuck a girl in the lead, so it's no longer Monster Boy. Jonathan Barnes says, wait a minute, this is Gintendo, but you're playing a Sega game? Yes, this is a Gen Assist. Okay, thanks. Thanks for playing at home. So it's appropriate to play this game this week because, um, it is, I believe this week is the one year anniversary of the game Iconoclasts, and the creator of Iconoclasts was very heavily influenced by Monster Hunter World, or sorry, Monster Hunter World, Monster World 4. And uh, so this is kind of a, a dual purpose. We're playing a game that is 25 years old, and also a game that was uh, commemorated a year ago. Yes, it's very exciting. So again, this was not localized into English until many, many years later. This is a fan translation that I'm playing, and uh, I've never actually uh, played it through in English. I, I never had a chance to play the, the U.S. release. I've just played some of the Japanese version. Yeah, she's wiggling her butt. Uh, so now I have healing medicine. That's good. It's going to take me a little while to get used to Genesis controls, because... Uh, <laughs> okay, and also the way she jumps. There we go. Alright. So it looks like there's something down here, but I don't know how to get down there. I guess I can't stab the bridge. If I press down, I bring up a shield. So it's kind of a learning experience for me, just as for you. Sebastian Sojiga, Soka, or... I, sorry, I mispronounced your name. It says, what year was this released? It was 1994. 25 years ago, because we're all going to die. Oh look, she even has a Samus-style spin jump. She can talk to critters. Talk to critter. There you go. They have a lot to say. She woke up that critter just so it could eat and go back to sleep. So I can offer a prayer to the sacred statue. It's a very strange looking sacred statue. Unfortunately, prayer is free. Just like smiles. I was not injured, but it's good to get into that practice anyway. Oh, uh, someone, okay, let's see, says the stream is a little bright. I agree. Let me change up the graphical settings. Oh, crap, where are we? Uh, there we go. So, let's try this instead. Okay, yeah, that's a little darker, so it won't look quite so washed out. Sorry about that. I had the settings for a different system. 
some of the consoles I'm recording from because I'm using analog RGB video and it's passing through a lot of different switchers and things like that. Sometimes it can be a little dark. Some of the luminosity gets lost, so I have to compensate by brightening up the capture device. Clearly that's not a case for the Sega Genesis. It is a natively RGB system, so it does not need your assistance. Okay, so off to a pretty slow start. Oh, look at all these people waving me goodbye. Don't give up. Thanks, Kate Bush. Hang in there. Thank you. Got motivational poster with a kitten. Take care. Arrivederci. So long. The time has come. Uh, sure, why not? Let's go. Good. Get the hell out of here, girl. Just a girl. Get out of here. Uh, no, I don't have the courage crystal. Wow. Harsh. How the hell do I get a Courage Crystal? Wow, what a great idea. Okay, someone asked um, if... Someone in the stream asked if this game recently received a remake. It did not. That was Monster... Wonder Boy and Monster World? Wonder Boy 3? God, I, I keep getting mixed up. But, um, that got a remake two years ago on Switch and some other systems. And then there is Monster Boy that came out a few months ago and is more like a sequel or not, not a, it's not a remake. It's like a continuation, a spiritual successor to Wonder Boy 3. And this is the sequel to Wonder Boy 3 right here, even though it's called Monster World. There's a whole genealogy here, and I'm not even going to get into it. Now, he's probably saying some important stuff, and I'm just babbling all the way through. Yes, dude. Save. So, I put my pot in a jar. So look, by, by default, she is just as capable of, as Link in Adventure of Link. You had to learn all those skills, but not Asha. Asha, whatever. Oh, look at that. She's, she's a veritable Adventure of Linker. She has very few hearts, though, so I'm going to have to be careful. Looks like the sword attack takes a little more precision than I'm used to. There we go. And it'll lead a little bit. Alright. Good thing these slimes are slow and inept and easy to destroy, so I can practice on them. It's almost like they designed it that way. Anyway, um, this is just an absolutely gorgeous game. It's really one of the best looking games on Genesis. It's not, you know, impressive on necessarily a technical level. The artistry of this game is just really something else. I love the design of it. Uh, you know, the, the backgrounds here with the trees are a little repetitive, but the colors are great. The the art style, the way there's like light and shadow, and it's kind of, um, not, you know, it's, it's a little bit of what you would think of as cell shading in a 3D game. It's a very strong animated look. Not a lot of dithering and pixelation going on. There's a little bit of that, whoa, that guy didn't die yet. Oh, and I to not press down because that blocks. There we go. So if you look up in the trees, there's that Konami NES gradient effect that we all love. Look at the clouds, the fog in the background. There's multiple layers of them, and that's nice, but what I really like is the little curlicues. It's just a very, very lovely game. And I couldn't begin to guess why this didn't make it to the US. I mean, it's not like Genesis was dead in 94. It's the same year uh, Gunstar Heroes came out. I guess they were like, oh, girls, no one would ever want to play a game starring a girl. Not knowing about Nintendo fans and their love of Metroid. But in any case, I'm glad that it is available now on some systems if you have a last-gen system. You can no longer buy it on Wii as of like an hour ago. You can still buy it on the other systems. It's probably backward compatible on Xbox One, in fact, so if you look at this game and think, I would actually rather play this than listen to some guy drone on about it while playing it on a stream, well, that opportunity might just be there for you. Whoa. 
mushroom is doing a dance. And spreading his seeds, his spores everywhere. It's a very sexy dance. See, he even leaves a little heart behind. He's truly spreading his love. Oh no! Asha took a damage. Unfortunately, he left behind some love. Now she's strong again. So, uh, anyway, back to the introductions. I'm still Jeremy Parrish, and this is still a Gintendo stream for Retronauts. Oh my goodness, this is a hassle. Uh, Gintendo, of course, means that I am gently sipping a lovely beverage as I play. In this case, it's Scape Grace Gin, which I believe is from Australia. In any case, it's one I, I kind of recently picked up just because, honestly, it has a really nice looking bottle. Sometimes you just gotta, gotta go on the aesthetics. It's pretty nice though, it's kind of a classic gin, pretty dry. Having it with a little tonic and a slice of blood orange. Very exciting. So if you're planning to drink along at home, pour yourself a tall, frosty one, or, you know, it doesn't have to be frosty, it could be like room temperature or whiskey neat, that's okay too, it doesn't have to be gin. Uh, but only if it's legal in your locale. If you are 15 years old and your legal drinking age is 21, please do not allow me to lead you into legality. That would be bad. And if you do not drink, that's okay, no pressure. Feel free to have some water or a tea. It's a little late for coffee, but you know, whatever. Um, so I seem to have gotten as far as I can get here. I seem to be missing something. So one of those people that I was talking over probably explained what I need to do right now, but I do not know. So you get to watch me backtrack. Metroidvania style. Doesn't look like I can go down there. Wow, this is going to be a really short and unsatisfying stream. You know, I've, I've played this before a long time ago. Like, God, like more than a decade ago. And I don't remember what I was supposed to do. I should have researched before I did the stream. Hmm. Press down plus C to jump. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so maybe I should actually read the signs instead of uh, just... Oh, that's not working. Well, she doesn't seem to be jumping down. Alrighty. Here. Sorry about this. I uh, didn't think I was going to have so much trouble. What do you know? Okay, so down plus C here is not working, so I guess I have to go someplace else. This game kind of makes me want to play Popful Mail, but I don't own that game and it's very expensive now. Very sad. Okay, maybe I can jump down here. Yes, there we go. Okay. But I feel like this is not where I want to be going. Yeah, I've already been this way. This is where I came from. So... Maybe it's time to look to the chat and see if people know this game better than I do. This was not how I planned on the stream going. Alright. Oh, look at all this stuff. She's got armor. She's cool. Okay. So there's an argument in the stream about whether booze is good for you or bad for you. Anyway, it looks like I have to go back all the way to the beginning of the game 
because I blew off that dude who asked me about the Courage Crystal. I got offended by him calling me a scatterbrain. So it's my own fault, my own ego. enjoy this lovely forest scenery some more, and watch me kill s flaming slimes, or whatever these things are. That never gets old, the way their eyes get all bugged out. They love it. Sadly, I cannot show the cover of this game on this stream, but it's great. It's uh, one of those claymation diorama type photos that uh, they used to do back in the day. Japan always did a lot more of those than you saw in the U.S. It's, it's really a shame. It's such a great art style for video game box art. It's like a whole subgenre of amazing clay diorama covers. If I were to have a lot of money, which I don't, but if I did, and I wanted to just collect video games based on a theme, I might collect them based on that style of cover art. Trying to jump in midair. There we go. Or stab in midair. Yes. Oh, so the shield actually bumps off of enemies. That's great. Video games don't usually do that. They're like, shields are only for projectiles. But not Monster World 4. It's cool. Because really, if you were to bump up against a bad guy with a shield, it would not ooze its way through your shield. I respect that. Okay, so we're headed back to the beginning. What's up, dude? I might as well save here. Yes, I do. Okay. So I see there is a little bit of talk in the chat about those diorama clay box arts. Um, okay, so it doesn't look like I can go down through this bridge. What a shame. Um, but there, there were a few that came to the U.S., and one of them we just recently talked about on Retronauts. There was an episode that came out last week, Retronauts.com, on Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom, which is a wonderful game. Very strange adventure game from Hudson, but that actually did have uh, a claymation style art in the US, if I'm not mistaken. And that is a rare and precious thing, my friends. Instead of, like, airbrushed muscle dudes with angry eyes. Ah, that wasn't, that wasn't helpful. Come on. So it doesn't look like I can jump down here? All right. So I came all the way back, and she's not dropping down. What's going on? Come on, Asha. Let's go. Jump down. All right. So this is not going so well. Maybe this is a stream where I will have to call it a night and come back some other time. Uh, I'm not really seeing what the problem is here. Okay, well this is embarrassing. I have no idea what the problem is here. Can't jump down here. What the dang heck? All 
Alright, so... Bad things are happening. Someone said there's a door next to the rope in the first tent. So that's the second tent. Maybe I should actually talk to people. I don't know. Nope. Not helping. Okay, thank you for the ominous portent. Still no, still no ability to jump down into these holes. So I just rebooted the stream because apparently it wasn't showing up or something. I don't know, it's very strange. Sorry about the technical hiccup. Okay, looks like I am back and down by like 75 people, so that sucks. Okay, looks like people are coming back, and that's good. Actually watch me accomplish something, I hope. Oh. Okay, let's try this whole going past the point I couldn't get beyond. There's something very Shantae-ish about this game. But strangely enough, I, uh, I asked the creator of Shantae if he was influenced by Monster World 4, and he was like, you know, I never played it until after we made Shantae, so it's just one of those convergent evolution things, I guess. Oh no! I let a slime jump on me. Alright, so now that I'm here, let's offer a prayer and see what's up. Wait a minute, I still can't go forward? Uh-oh. There we go. Maybe this will do the trick. Aha! All those years of uh, Simon's Quest paid off. That was a lot more intuitive than hitting my head against Deborah Cliff. Okay, now I'm not allowed to talk in this section of the game. I think. I think that's what it means. What's up, strange man who lives in a buried tower? I feel like that's not much of a life. Sure thing, dude. Let's go. Okay, we are finally making some progress. Clearly, my goal here is going to be to unlock that door. That seems like a thing. Oh, yeah, it's a mummy. That is a wall. Very exciting. Lots of great animation in this. Look at those propellers spinning around. Okay, I'm gonna have to open up that door somehow. Wow, it's like a pig guy. Alright, I gotta stab. Yeah, there we go. She's, she takes a little more technique to work out than uh, Link does, but we're on the right track. Yeah, that appears to have unlocked the door. Is a load-bearing pig. With his 
spinning watermelon attack. Alright, looks like people are coming back to the stream. Sorry again for the technical problem. Thanks for joining and rejoining. I don't know what happened, but it was bad. Oh no, I was hit by a watermelon. Pretty sad. But killing a pig caused a platform to appear because, well, isn't that just like life? Every time you have a bacon sandwich, there's a platform floating somewhere in the air. Somewhere in the world, a platform appeared because of your pork chop. Oh, no! Maybe that's going to be something that replenishes my health. Or a key. That would also work. So... Some bad guys don't drop hearts except the mushrooms. That's very disappointing. I expect better. I do not need your cash, I need your hearts. Alright dude, I'll save here, why not? Why the heck not? Would in fact like to say thank you. All right, and we have a door with a lock. Oh, that's one of those things where you have to use an item manually. Yep, there we go. Oh no, Ash is gonna die. Badly. And really, there's no excuse for me to be hit by those pigs because they don't exactly have an, a uh, very tricky attack. I'm just being sloppy. And I barely even touched the gin. There's no excuse for it. himself dizzy. Not much of a warrior. Okay, so my stream keeps dying, which is unusual, because I have very good internet. So, sorry about that, everyone. I don't know what's happening there. It could just be that uh, that huge winter storm is causing general issues. I'm not being affected by the winter storm here. I'm way down in North Carolina, so... Oh! <sighs> Only my brain is being affected by the winter storm. Okay, one more shot. Let's try to avoid taking stupid hits. Need a whole lot more of those to refill my hearts. Oh, well, my money! That was a neat little animation, though. You don't get that animation if it just falls on the ground. Great details. West Stone is so great. They love us. They love making things that are beautiful. Anyway, so I was saying even though I'm not personally affected by the winter storm here, it's cold, but not unusually cold for the winter. Uh, it could be that like trunk lines or something are being 
knocked out by ice storms or whatever, just internet in general. The whole Atlantic seaboard or Midwest, I don't know. So I do apologize for uh, the, the technical issues. Uh, someone just said, Jeremy, any possibility of showing off that Sharp X68000 uh, stuff on channel or on stream? I absolutely intend to stream from the Sharp X68000 once I actually get it set up. Oh. <laughs> ah, keeps moving away. There we go. All right, take that. Dude, you should have given me some health. Um, right now, I'm, I'm in the process of setting up the X68000, and it's very difficult to get that into a state where I can stream from it. I hate this guy. Uh, I spent a big chunk of this evening trying to get it working, and so far, I haven't actually been able to uh, get a picture from the computer. I know it, it's a working computer because it was tested before it was sent. It's just a matter of making it work for me and my setup. And then, once I get it just working, there's also the process of getting it to stream, which is something else entirely. But I am very excited to get it up and running. It's going to be very good, I hope and pray. Okay, so that created all these platforms here. Rich McKee says, is Binge Edwards going to make a cool joystick from for the this, this Sharp 68000? Uh, he actually saw that computer on my desk and said, I need to make a joystick for this. Because that guy is crazy. But this uh, 68000 68, came with a cyber stick, which is the most amazing joystick I've ever seen. It's um, one part, like an, a 16-way joystick, or 8-way, 16, I don't know. It's very, very flexible. It has uh, buttons on the trigger, and then it has a shifter lever. I played Super Hang On with it at uh, Long Island Retro Expo last summer. It was just the most amazing experience. I've never liked racing games, but then I played that, and I was like, this is godlike. I understand why people like racing games now. But yes, I would not be surprised if Benj does make a uh, an X68000 controller, because it is the kind of super esoteric thing he's into. Oh, I need that. Give me that thing up there. Those hearts. I would pay money for those hearts. Yeah, okay. It's not quite what I was after, but that works. Oh, haven't I already done this? I sure have. All of that just for one little heart. Okay. Back through this. Wow. Those guys are like from Castlevania too. Mummies that shoot little uh, bandages at you. 
this game. This game's getting a little Castlevania on us. We've got karate werewolves and bandage throwing mummies. Oh, I need that guy up there. I gotta figure out how to get up top so I can get hearts and save points. Oh, look at that. It's gonna be a gauntlet. Go, go, go. The uh, X68000 computer, I think, uses basically the same joy, uh, joypad port as the Sega Genesis, so I feel like there's there's some versatility there. I don't know if I'm supposed to jump over those things, but I feel like I am. Okay, let's let's find the. No, that is not the old man. It's not the heart dispenser. What is happening here? Why can't I have what I want when I want it? There we go. That's what's up. Yes, old man, I would like to save. Thank you. John John says, every time she opens the chest, all I can hear is shake shake. She does... J there is kind of a mischief makers about this. Uh, the heart vending machine. Oh! Freaking mummies, man. That up there. That. That is my dream. My goal. Hey! That guy looks, um, bad. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Okay, so this is not how I fight this guy. That is how I fight that guy. Oh, and look! It's Christmas! I don't want that! This game keeps giving me money! Money is... Money is not what I'm after. Thinks I'm greedy, but I just want to be alive. Oh, right. I can't go there. Ugh. This does not take me closer to the heart vending machine. Oh! <laughs> Hey, you know if you double tap, you run? That's great. Now I really... Oh my god! <laughs> that was awesome. Well done, me. Okay. So, there's about 15 minutes left. Actually, there's exactly 15 minutes left in the stream. So, okay. Let's take another crack at this. Maybe not play so sloppily this time? Yeah, that seems like a good plan. Oh, I see. To get the heart vending machine, I should have dropped down from there. Got it. So let's try a different approach here. Ugh, come on. <laughs> what? Okay, so the double tap is really getting me in trouble. I don't even mean to do it. All right, let's uh, let's try this all over again, shall we? Tap once to climb, twice to die. Right over here. Heck yeah. Pfft, what a ripoff. I don't need three. What is this? Okay, whatever is in here is probably bad. Oh my goodness. It's like a naga. Not a very smart Naga. Pretty soon I'm gonna be wearing a Naga hide. That's right, folks. 
So, maybe not the most challenging boss I've ever faced. Uh, well, okay. That was um, a little... A little underwhelming after this very grueling climb, but whatever. Acquired a magic lamp, and... Oh, I skipped the Cyclops. My gold. I feel like after all that I deserve some gold, but I think I have to use the magic lamp and get out of here. Well, this is unexpected. Okay, well, thanks. So, in addition to missing the gold, I also missed a crystal, so I'm one heart behind. So I really blew it there. Gotta go to the Royal Palace of Rapadonga, and then I will be accepted as a warrior. I feel like I pretty much trounced that Naga, which, you know, I, that's justification for being called a warrior. I think. Okay, thanks, dude. This guy has a lot to say. Yeah. Let's not go. I just want a crystal, that's all. Oh. oh man, what? This dude's a jerk. Alright, let's see what happens. That was almost worth it. That's a nice little raster effect. Well done. Well done, West Stone. Yeah. Wow. What a scold. Okay. So I'm down a gold bar and a crystal. So much for my 100% playthrough. So here we are in Rapadanga City, where that old man shows up again for some reason. He's very ubiquitous, the ubiquitous old man. Yes, and I'm going to save over here, just in case I decide to go back to the tower. Okay, so here I am where uh, I think Shantae lives, yeah? Pretty sure. At some point, uh, the Armor Baron is going to attack. Man, there's a lot of sexism in this game. People insulting her and looking down on her. I don't know. Then again, maybe it's just uh, a thing in video games around this time. Everyone made fun of Chrono too, telling him to go home and play with his stamp collection. staircase, I guess. That's an interesting, uh, yeah, that's an interesting little bit of design. Like, it's a, it's a platform, a ladder, but they've designed it to look like a staircase, so it kind of fits into the world and makes a little bit of sense. I approve. Well done. Well done, Weststone. Going to see the queen. Okay, that works too. So 
so I gotta swear always to act bravely and fight to protect all peace-loving people at the peril of your own life. Do I so swear? Let's see what happens. Wow, not even, not even a sarcastic remark. I guess queens are above that. It's just you're trapped. Okay. There's no getting out of being a warrior. Yeah, but I was like being sarcastic to you, lady. Man. You think that's just like a can speech she gives? Dire news, my goodness. Oh, this is one of those things where it's like, oh, hey, little kid, you think you want to be a hero? Well, guess what? There's an ancient curse upon the land. Go save the entire world from it. Sure, why not? talk to Krillin over here. Come on, dude, let's spar or something. It's that little guy. He becomes my friend. Hooray. Well, I guess he's not my friend yet. This seems like a very boring job. Just standing there with your back arched, holding fruit on your head. I'd rather be a warrior. It's an interactive map. Oh, it's really an interactive map. Oh, look at that. What a nice little map. There's an ice pyramid, and a cloud palace, and a tower that I've already beaten. It looks like down at the bottom right there's a runway, so I can fly away to some other land. Come back and talk to me, buddy. Okay, well that's about all the palace has to offer. I really should have been paying attention to what the Queen said, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Gotta go save, save the world from spirits, blah blah blah. Oh, maybe I can have some food. I'm very hungry. Hmm, I might pass on that, actually. I bet it tastes like chicken. Oh, come to me, little crystal guy. I already have healing medicine? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, no. Okay. Well, the important thing is that I got a crystal. Actually, three crystals. And some golds. I have many golds. I hope they don't mind that I'm looting their treasury. I don't even know how that's pronounced. Peppa Lagoo? Okay, that seems like it's going to be important. And they did, after all, ask me to uh, save the universe. Oh, look, I had all this healing medicine and I didn't even think about it. It was like the first thing I got in the game. That tower could have been so much easier. What's wrong with me? Anyway, we need to wind down the 
the stream now, but uh, I'm sure learning a lot about this game, mostly through mistakes and errors and repetition, but that's okay. It's a fun little game with good controls, lovely graphics, fun personality. And I just have to figure out how to get the hell out of this palace. Already been in here, right? That's the kitchen? Yes. Okay. I wonder if the genie of the lamp will help me escape. Okay, I think I came in from the other side. Wow, this is this is really embarrassing. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Monsters, herg. Okay, we gotta figure out how the heck to get out of the palace. Who knew that this would be the hardest part of the game? Oh, not there. Welcome to the palace. Yeah, thanks, dude. Is it through here? Yes, okay. Wow, success! Finally going to escape. Alright, good times. Now I can go on an adventure. Actually, all I really want to do is find that old man and save, because it is time for this stream to be over. So I'm calling it a night as soon as I find the wheezing old man. There he is. Okay, great. So we're going to save, and I don't know, maybe I'll jump back into this game sometime and play some more of it. I've got a save file here in Rapadonga, Rapadogna City, and that's great. So everyone who watched this stream of this very lovely video game that I am completely lost in all the time, thanks for joining me, and... Uh, you have a pleasant evening. If you are someplace where it is ungodly cold right now, please stay warm, stay safe, and I'll be back probably next week with another stream. I have a whole schedule set up. It's going to be great. Oh, and uh, yes, um, as I mentioned, this was a Gintendo or a Genesis. I guess I wasn't talking much about booze through the stream, but I'm drinking Scapegrace Gin with Tonic. Please do not call me daddy. Sniff, snit trippin', that's, that's weird. Um, anyway, yes, so video games, alcohol, a fine combination. Genesis, Monster World, a finer combination. Just a, a lovely video game. Check it out if you uh, want to play it on PS3, Xbox 360, and maybe on Xbox One through backward compatibility. It's a fine, fine game.